Today we're going to be visiting an old friend, the Nickel 335 wide, but everybody knows this. Nickel 33, you sub in all safeties for these linebackers. Two reasons, speed and you actually get animations to the ball when you play in coverage. So Nickel 33, as far as audibles go, these three, OLB Blitz 1, Mike Blitz 0, and Cover 3 Buzz are stock. The only thing you want to go ahead and change is Tamp 2 and put in Cover 4 show two instead well come on nickel through three cover two drop we're gonna go into gun bunch spacing switch for now second half of this video is gonna be discussing coverage against a bunch against players that clear out flln as well as mesh post now we're gonna go ahead and audible over to nickel through three cup olb blitz one spread d line and press that is the blitz setup for when they send five out you will take your user blitz user make sure the blitz angle is headed towards the tackle now you want to stand on the opposite side guard from where the running back is in this case running backs on the left so we're going to hover over the right guard with our blitz angle headed towards the right tackle we'll snap this ball pull the attention away and get immediate pressure off of the edge Edge. very simple but if they block the running back there are two ways you can run this the first way i do not like at all the second way i love so oab boots one nickel three three cup spread this is the way i don't like because it's random you just go ahead and put contains out there one more thing and then blitz your user as always and this is what the blitz looks like this is not a super consistent way it's about 50 50 maybe even 40 60 for when the running back just dumbs out and sometimes the running back will pick up that outside linebacker so we'll go ahead and pull the attention away from the outside line he gets picked up that time and again it's not my favorite because it's just more dice rolls you add to a dice roll field game now the way i like to scream against a blocked running back is again olb blitz one press spread the line and take nickel corner aka y and send him off of the edge as well so this is what it looks like bring your user your user over blitz your user standing over over the right guard block running back pull the attention line away and at that time he got picked up but more i think actually the line managed to block two people at once right there but more often than not that nickel corner is going to come in and clean block running back pull the line away and he's right there there we go we get the nickel corner come off the edge clean again i would say 90 percent of the time that guy is going to come through now this is the basic way i like to set up this blitz the blitz is important but now we need to talk about coverage now over in the Madam Mastermind Discord server, I teach you play by play defense from formations like gun bunch, gun tight, gun tight offset tight end, including plays like PA shot teams, corner strike, clear out FLN, mesh post, and a ton more. These defensive ebooks are catered to those individual offenses and teach you how you can lock down every single play professional man players like to run out of those formations. If you want access to that, it is $9.95 per month. PayPal link below in the description that gets you access to that Discord server. If you want to learn more, video is going to be pinned in the comment section below. Check that out. Become a member today and let's get back into this video. Now, when it comes to pass coverage with this particular play, we're going to talk about clear alpha in and mesh post. Clear alpha in is the biggest headache that you're going to face. So let's get the hardest play out of the way. I'm just going to skip over to OLB Blitz 1. And we're going to also include the cover 4 show 2. So as always, spread defensive line. They send 5 out. We're going to scream at them. So this is a popular way people are going to run this play. And the first coverage show we're going to go ahead and do is a cover 3. So as always, press, take X outside third, B outside third, X, your middle linebacker, inside third, and then A, put him into a curl flat. This curl flat is going to make it to where they can't just snap through this corner out. If you had them in a hard flat, they'd be able to just snap through that corner out and get a very easy chunk of yards every single down. Now, the running back wheel route is going to be accounted for by the man up assignment. And by the time the corner route is about to develop and get open, he's going to be taking a sack. So if they send five out, this is what the blitz setup looks like. This is the play shell. This is what the play looks like. All we've got to do, pull the attention of the offensive line away and just go back into coverage. And more often than not, the pressure is going to come screaming through. Let's do this one more time again. Set this coverage shell up. Pull the attention line away and by the time the corner out is developing to get open they can't throw that because the pressure is getting home i don't like running cover three get clear out alpha lane because if they were to go ahead and pick the blitz up and you leave that nickel corner in coverage the nickel corner is going to go ahead and i believe he drops into a hook zone he might be dropping into a deep zone right here the corner out will get open even if we were to go ahead and run our coverage shell like we've been running it this pressure will not get home because we're only sending six on we're sending five on six. We'll snap this ball. 
Blitz gets picked up. They've got time. You can try it there. Even if I'm trying to click on, you can see how that corner is going to be wide open. But if you want to play absolute maximum coverage, and it's going to be a tell, you're going to go into cover four, show two. And I want you to pay attention to this one key. I believe it's Rashad Gary. He drops off of the line, meaning when they see that, like, okay, he is no longer sending a blitz. Now, we have to understand cover four sure two is a cover four quarters match defense, meaning we have to have zone coverage set to match for this to work. Now, Clara Ethelin is a match killer. It beats palms, it beats quarters, it beats cover six, and it beats cover nine, and it beats cover three seam. So we have to really get super adjusted if we want to go ahead and beat this play all together. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take Adrian Amos, and I'm going to man him up to RB. Then from here, we're going to go ahead and individually press B, individually press X, and shade to the outside for the entire team. Now, this is what our defense looks like. What's going to happen is Savage is going to match to the tight end. This guy matches to the fade route, and this guy should be playing the corner out. Now, if he doesn't, we've got one more adjustment to this as well. But for now, we're going to go ahead and just snap the ball and send a five out. And as you can see, the outside quarter plays it pretty darn good long enough for that quarter flat to go ahead and bracket it off. But if you want double coverage on that corner out, again, we're going to go ahead and call cover four show two. These are the adjustments you're going to run. Adrian Amos, man out to the number two receiver. Take B, put him into a soft squat. Savage is going to man match to the tight end. So if you have the time, move him over. Don't man him up. Leave him in his man assignment. And as always, shade outside. So B, corner out, C route, block your running back. This is the popular play everybody loves. Put him into a soft squat this time. I put him into a clap that last time. A, man him up to that guy and bring this guy down. I'll go ahead and individually shade X to the right, which is shading to the outside with the sole side receiver on the left side. Again, all you're going to do is just bracket this guy off. And you can see right there, we now have double coverage on the corner. I guess I put a clop light out there last time. So don't put a clop light out there. Don't make that mistake like I did. But we are able to take away this play very easily now a different play they're going to go ahead and mix in is going to be mesh post and this is a very simple way they're going to go ahead and run this play they'll block the running back and then just snap the ball so right here i'm going to go ahead and baseline if you just want to come on cover four show two and just make your adjustments out of that just have baseline on and then you can have auto flip off i like to have the slot corner on the running back side for blitz purposes spread d line give them the same exact look and then all you got to do is just bracket off these drag routes. That is literally all you have to do. The post route is in double coverage. The drag routes are going to be matched by the quarter flats. And all you have to do is just play the middle of the field. The other way you're going to see some players run this, okay? This is a more popular way. Is something like this. Now, this match defense is going to play this so incredibly well. Again, we're going to go ahead and baseline. And I'm going to individually press this nickel corner off the edge. That's Y A Y down on the right stick spread the line to give them the same look every single time and right here all you do is just bracket off that vertical route bracket off the post route and work your way back down underneath and you can see how beautifully that corner out gets matched the streak route's double covered the quarter flat's going to match the flat route from the tight end quarter flat's going to match the running back wheel if they were to go ahead and leave that running back wheel route out there and best post very easy bag the final version this is a madden uh, forever setup like this they will take the number two receiver and motion them over this has been a setup for like six seven years now so we'll go ahead and motion them over again we're gonna go ahead and baseline and this creates a two by two set quarters is gonna play different against a two by two set versus a compressed bunch set this play quarters normally what's gonna happen is this safety in this inside quarter is gonna go ahead and play that corner out so we'll see how this this cover four quarters plays so we'll snap the ball you can check there inside quarters i was talking about goes ahead and matches it but you always want to just take away the deep stuff instead of the shallow stuff but as always if you think the post shot's gonna win on this man-to-man -man, take away the post route every single time just read how your defense is reacting if you have some good man coverage safeties you're going to be perfectly fine running this match defense and letting the quarters take away the post route this is the base coverage i love to run against curve against gun bunch again when the emotion players cross it changes how your quarters are going to play if you want to learn all about how quarters plays against two by two sets bunch sets and a lot more become a member via the paypal link in the description there's going to be a video as a reminder in the comment section to explain all the other benefits that come along with it subscribe if you guys are new for more defensive breakdowns like this and especially blitz plays and a ton of defensive tips and we'll catch you guys in the next one go, go.